everybody, welcome to another awesome video with your on-screen friends, the Heart Panda! So today the video is gonna be about the time when I went to USSR Interactive Museum. There were a lot of awesome, cool USSR timed uh, things in the museum that people donated and also there were some things that existed way before USSR. So on the side of the museum there was a huge space filled with awesome USSR timed cars and you could get in in any of the cars and see how they looked inside and what was inside of those cars. contained a lot of random things from policeman uniform to refrigerators and washing machine kind of stuff that way the flat bore used to be a washing machine you'll just push the clothes against it and that will wash them so that is a water machine in which you can choose either you're gonna have like a cool water you're gonna have a sparkly water or you're just gonna get like salt this machine in particular didn't have any coin slots visible so i would assume that this machine used to be on some manufacturing like company floor so people would like just get the water for free because like when you sweat i guess they want would want to replenish your salt numbers and of course it had the iconic ussr glass the people would not steal even like if this machine was in the streets where you can just pay some money and get like a water like nobody would steal it here's a sewing machine that will have a little needle with a thread you'll like put it a certain way and then you'll have a piece of clothing and then you will just like move the handle circle of motion and then you will push the piece of clothing and it's just gonna thread it and I used to love playing with it when I was younger here's some radios and to be honest with you, I can still like smell one. I don't know, like it has such a specific smell. Moving on to the TVs with such a limited channels and all of them were black and white. My mom said that this is the TV that they used to have growing up. This was a volume like switch and the contrast switch and the three channels that it had and there was no remote so the usually the youngest sibling was a remote who had to like stand up and go change it this was the first mass production of the tv in ussr Those were the documents that were as important as your passport or your ID. They were your documentation that you were a candidate or a member of the Communist Party of Soviet Union. Very important papers. Here is the video console dandy where you like, have the game cartridges that you'll need to switch up and play. And I know like my mom and everybody grew up on those and I kind of saw those but I don't think I've ever played one. So those are the slide DF film projectors for uh, your tapes. So usually you would watch some like fairy tales or cartoons with those. So you will have the film that used to be in all the cameras like Kodak, I guess, and you know, and you'll put it in and then it will project those things so you can only have like a limited amount.
Here are some items from the World War II, such as this weird metal contraption that Germans used to use to walk on ice, and here are some of their boots that were made with square nails. Board games like table soccer and hockey. Here are some of the exercise machines. And this is Viritino, or spindle. It was used to spin and twist fibers such as wool or cotton in order to make yarn. Item that Sleeping Beauty in the Russian version of the story poked her finger. And let me tell you what, like, what kind of fingers do people used to have? Like, it's impossible to get poked on it, like, and draw blood out of it. It's not po pointy enough, I guess, for a reason, so nobody would poke themselves. Here are some clothes irons. They were kind of heavy to, you know, press so it's, you know, the wrinkles go away. And some of them, like, you'll have to pull coals inside, so it's like a warm iron, so it's like heavy, and there's coals inside to make it warm. Do people still iron stuff? Let me know in the comments below. The old school calculator, or shita. I actually got a chance to play around with it when I was younger, but let me tell you what, it's not the most easiest thing to do. A voice or a string bag with some beer and some toilet paper. Pioneer's uniforms. Those are lapti or bast shoes and they were made out of the bark of the trees and those were the shoes basically that people wore way before USSR. <laughs> and here's some footage of random perfumes, matchboxes and all the random stuff. watching I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel like the video share it with your friends and also push that bell thing to get notifications when I do post new videos because I've been posting a lot of videos lately so help me to feel like you guys do want to watch them so I can produce them and put them out in the universe and just remember that you're an awesome potato and you know what awesome potatoes do they smile